Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. In the wake of what is happening in Nigeria, insecurity everywhere, particularly in southern Nigeria, the Fulanese have decided to tell their kings and kin, their relatives and friends living in Nigeria and every part of Nigeria as a whole to do this immediately, having aired their views. In fact, they took their time and explained what they have gone through, what they are going through, and what they will do. Well, before we go into the news proper, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, the association, Meti Alakoto Hore, uh, has said uh, that uh, the Fulani Social Cultural Organization or Association has raised the alarm that enemies in Nigeria, including state apparatus, have risen against Fulani pastoralists. What the association said was, in addition to years of frustration, denials, and unjust attacks on the people and their sources of livelihood by local communities and, in some cases, government agencies. The association was also concerned that Fulani pastoralists across Nigeria have been profiled by both the media, the society, and security agencies and painted as enemies of the people and state and therefore harassed, intimidated, extorted, and punished unjustly. It, however, encouraged its members to be patient, calm, forgiven and focus on the business of life livestock grazing and also endeavor to build them and maintain peace unity and cordial relationship with their neighbors the association's president Elaji bello bodejo who addressed mammon crowd of fulani pastoral pastoralists from across nigeria and and beyond and they're living in Nigeria, who gathered at association's headquarters, headquarters located along Abuja Kefi Expressway, Nasarawa State, the ones in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, at the weekend though, for the maiden edition of Fulani Cultural Festival, promised that the association has re-strategized in its approach to protect the pastoralists, wherever they are across Nigeria, and secure justice for them. He, however, rained courses on some state governors whom he claimed chased Fulani pastoralists away from their state using state systems, assuring them that peace will continue to elude them until they reverse their decisions and wholeheartedly welcome and accept the pastoralists as members of the society. We know our friends and enemies and we will act at the right time. Mm, that sounds like a threat. But the jaw insisted that his people, that's Fulani pastoralists, are not bandits, kidnappers, or perpetrators of crime against the society has been alleged, insisting that Fulani communities must have been infiltrated by enemies that are using the pictures and images of Fulani pastoralists to unleash terror and carry out organized crimes. He added, nevertheless, we encourage our members who are grieved and might had decided to retire to the bush and from their launch attacks to have their to have everything, shield their sword, and return to the society so we can collectively attend to whatever their grievances are. In as much as we don't support armed struggle, our people have undoubtedly been badly treated over the years in Nigeria. We have been cheated, denied all the necessary opportunities for good life and education and this time our sources of livelihood are being targeted obviously we have been pushed to the wall hence the justification to the recent display of anger by our people is left for the government and the people to do the needful he encouraged the Fulani headsmen to participate in political process starting with registration and acquisition of national identity number nin and they should get a permanent voter's card, PVC, to enable them to participate in election decisions and other national issues. Meanwhile, meanwhile the wives of Bauchi and KB state governors Aisha Tubala Mohammed and Dr. Zainab 
Bagudu, respectively, in their remarks in Hausa language, encouraged the headsmen to shield their sword and embrace peace, insisting that whatever their grievances are can only be attended to in the atmosphere of peace. They asked them to embrace education and other enlightenment programs in order to be at abreast with development in their immediate environment and across the world. All right, Nigerians have decided to react to this because this is strong. <laughs> Lots of things were said. Uh, they said that, well, that uh, Nigerians all started it by, you know, showing them uh, unkind treatment. And in, in retaliation, they had decided to pick up their swords and their, their, their instruments, and they've gone to the bush to unleash or, or whatnot. Uh, and they've also decided that this guy should come out of the bush and get, go ahead and get NIN. I don't know if they are Nigerians, though, because we have heard that, based on what everybody just said, said both Fulanis in Nigeria and the Fulanis outside Nigeria came for a meeting. So if you are encouraging them to get NIN as what Nigerians, honestly, this country sometimes, I don't understand, because if anybody can get NIN, everybody is a Nigerian. But let's feel the pulse of Nigerians, okay? This one here is saying, what has the Fulani contributed to unity of this country, Okay. Another person here is saying, uh, you said you know the right time to strike. You have done it already in Undo State. My God, look at what Nigerians are saying. This person here is saying, uh, even if it's, it shall not be well with these things, they went and killed innocent worshippers in Undo. The generation yet unborn with so far, Nigerians are getting really vesco. See, with what uh, Bode just said, he said the real time they will do the need for, but just hope that he's just saying, maybe I don't even understand. Because of the level of insecurity, one has to be very careful with some, some words spoken, okay, so that um, if anything eventually happens, it doesn't be, it's not credited to you based on the fact that you must have said any, some things in anger. Don't forget that the prelate also mentioned the fact that those who actually handled him in the bush and kidnapped him were actually Fulani extractions people, people from Fulani extraction. So that's an old man and a clergy. So he, I don't think he was too solo as to lie or, or, or call out a, a particular group for no just cause. Okay, and he was he was very frank with what he heard, what he saw, and what he said. Nigerians are talking. This one here is saying, um, to bank on Nigeria is the beginning of wisdom. So people are saying Izuku, as in that's the throat. And that person here is saying. Wow, but the job. Full and are everywhere, killing people. Even in my village, five days was, five days was killed. Okay, five people were killed in cold blood in his farm. Today again, another man is also brought down. Haba, see what happened in Ondo, in the church. We all know your plan, but by His grace, it will not see the light of the day. The worst is the so-called government that are not doing anything to stop this killing, and the devils are everywhere. And that person here saying he has said it all without fear that states that ask them to leave the forest will not have peace. Today, Ondo has been attacked by his men. Nigerians are really see, see, they're just adding two and two. All right, they're adding two and two. This one here is saying, For all of you that are saying their government will soon end, don't deceive yourself. Atiku, another full animal, will soon be installed to finish their agenda. If they realize he won't win, they will make sure election does not hold so that Buhari will continue the agenda. Nigerians are beginning to become political pundits here. Well, you've heard what Nigerians are saying, cut across board. Let's meet in our comment section what's your take. Do have a